So ambisonic audio is super cool, but how do you actually preview or play it back to listen to it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we get started, a quick explanation is necessary to understand what we are trying to accomplish. I'm going to try and stay away from the nitty gritty bits on how this works for this video in particular, but I will be putting out one in the future that details all of the little things. Ambisonic audio is a spatialized audio format, kind of similar to a 360 degree camera, where it contains both the audio content and the directionality information of it in reference to a single point. Those extra dimensions of information get encoded into the exported audio file, giving it a built-in three degrees of freedom. Now, if you try and play this audio back on something like iTunes, Windows Media Player, or really any normal playback software, it will sound very weird and incorrect because it's trying to play channels one and two as left and right speaker when those channels actually contain way more information than that. So you need to run it through a decoder to get that information back. Now, when you get into talking about different formats and encodings of those formats, it can get really confusing, but today we are just going to be primarily looking at the internationally recognized encode called AMBIX, or what's commonly referred to as ANC channel ordering, which is what most modern game development softwares will accept, i.e. mostly like Unity and Runreal is usually the only format that they accept. The first thing that we need is an actual Ambex audio file. There aren't a lot of places you can get these types of files off the internet at the moment, so I'm going to pop over to my Patreon and download one of the environments I created. Note that in the description here I have Ambex or ANC channel ordering first order, so we know that this is in the encode format that Unity and Unreal will be able to recognize and play back correctly. The easiest way to listen to these files is to stick it into your Unity or Unreal project and hit play in your workspace. You can then rotate your camera around to hear what's happening in the audio. Of course, this isn't exactly optimal, but if this is all that you're looking for, I have a video here that details how to set up Unity for VRChat to be able to do this in particular. The more powerful way to do this is using a DAW or digital audio workstation with some special plugins. Let's go ahead and set that up. All right, so you're gonna need two pieces of software, both of which are free. The first one is Reaper, which is the particular DAW that I like to use for Ambisonics. Uh, there are a couple other options out there, but this is the most cost-effective one being free, and also the full version is only about $60. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Reaper for Windows 64-bit, and it says, you know, 60-day evaluation period for free. This is actually an infinite evaluation. They just don't tell you. The second piece of software that we are going to download is from a company called Deer VR. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Deer VR's website. And, and these links will be in the description. Uh, we're going to go up to products. And under free downloads, we have Amba Micro. So I'm going to click Amba Micro. I'm going to click get it for free. Enter your email and your name, and then check this checkbox right here. Go ahead and click Submit, and then it will send you an email to a download link where you can download this plugin package. After you get those pieces of software download, go ahead and install both of them. Um, after you have them installed, go ahead and open Reaper, and it will open a blank template. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is set my audio output so I can pass audio to my headphones by going to Options and Preferences. Remember that Ambisonics is mostly designed for headphone playback, uh, which is why it's useful for VR, so make sure you're using headphones when you're doing this. Uh, I'm going to go to Device underneath of Audio, and uh, I usually use my ASIO driver for my SSL output, but uh, my game capture will not capture unless I go to my direct sound output, but you pretty much just select uh, your audio system and then you select, you know, right now I'm just going to use my primary capture device and I click OK. So now we should have audio routing to our main outputs. I'm going to double check by coming down to the master uh, routing right here and you should have a master hardware outputs if you do not just add another you know master left right i'm going to delete that because i just doubled it um, so you have your main hardware left output right output now what we can do is take our audio file that we downloaded or whatever audio file in particular we want to listen to uh, i'm going to take this guy and drag it just directly into the workspace and it will automatically uh, 
generate the tracks necessary. Uh, as you can see here, there are four different channels of audio in this track, and this is what makes Ambisonic special. These four tracks of audio all contain the information for both the audio and the spatialization of it. Uh, and if I play it back here, you'll notice that it sounds really weird. And it sounds really weird because it's taking this first channel of audio, kind of like I was saying, piping it through the left speaker, and the second channel of audio and piping it through the right speaker, which is not intended how it's supposed to be decoded, because all this stuff has way more information. So in order to decode this, we need to add our FX plugin. So down here on this channel strip where it says FX, I'm gonna click the FX button. It's gonna pop up a couple prompt windows here. Um, in this window, I'm going to just run a search for Ambi, and it will pop up with the VSTs that we just pl uh, put in. I'm going to use this one in particular and click the Ambi Micro, click Add. And now you can see that we have that plugin that was on that website loaded up and ready to go in here. So the first thing we're going to do is set up this plugin to decode this audio file. And if you remember, what we were what we downloaded that is intended for Unity playback is Ambix, and it is a first order Ambisonic file. So FOA means first order Ambisonic or four channel. You know that this audio has four channels of audio. And on the right side, which is the output, uh, we are going to select our format, which is binaural. And these, all these are different just decoding schemes. And when you're using Unity in particular, it's using the Facebook 360 decoder or the Oculus Spatializer. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Facebook 360 decoder. And for channels, you know, it's, it's two channels because it's, it's binaural. I'm going to preemptively turn the gain down a little bit because ambisonic audio uh, by default when you're decoding it can be a little bit loud. And now if I play it back, you'll notice that it sounds very different. Quite a bit different. It actually sounds like a real space. So these right here is how you rotate your head position inside of this audio file. So yaw is if you were moving your head, like rotating on the horizontal axis. So if you're moving left and right, in fact, if I play the audio file back in here and change this, you will note, you will uh, hear it. Hear your head turning around from left to right a little bit. And then pitch is going to be your up and down movement. So if you're looking up or down in your like spatialized environment, this third one that's named roll, just ignore it. Uh, this is the third degree of freedom that is equivalent to twisting your head on the looking axis. So just go ahead and leave it at zero. Now there are a lot of other plugins out there that allow you to decode ambisonic audio uh, in, in your DAW, but I personally prefer Ambimicro because of how simple it is. Uh, also because it gives me all of these different uh, format designs. These are called trans these are HRTF transfer functions. Um, and being able to have the Facebook 361 right here is uh, important for when you're using Oculus Spatializer inside of Unity so that you can get an accurate um, decode as if you were decoding this inside of Unity. But outside of that, I mean, this is pretty much it. You're, you're good to go. Big thank you to my Patreons that are helping me to be able to work on things like this and supporting the creation of VR Chat Worlds in these tutorial videos. I've got quite a few more coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.